Hi you guys, welcome to my channel, Chrissy's Walking Beauty. So today we are gonna do this look, it's very cute. We got some crazy things going on, got a cut crease. You guys, let's get it, I mean like, I'm 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 having so much fun right now with this Jackie Ina palette and creating some very like you know cray cray looks or at least I mean this isn't your everyday look that's what I say I don't know about crazy but I did have to add a black into this look because you know we need a little bit more depth just just a little bit but that's not a big deal we're just gonna make it happen okay you guys interested in seeing how I get this look? Just stay tuned. All right, you guys. So first we're gonna start out with ginger and I'm gonna place that all over my lid, concentrating it at the base of the lash line and blending it out in my crease area. Um, I'm just, you know, trying to get, root, is, get it as saturated as possible and this um primer that i'm using is the mika primer i love this primer but i feel like it's getting old and it's getting kind of difficult to blend with now i'm going into edges and i'm going to do the same exact thing with edges i'm starting out in the outer area and i'm just building that up and i love that reddish undertone that this brown is giving me now i'm blending 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 and you guys you know what on a regular day this is a look all by itself with like some liner um so <laughs> now i'm going into credit and i'm just concentrating that for the most part in the outer V area and I'm building it up, trying to get it as deep and as concentrated as possible. And now I am blending that up from, with a clean blending brush, up from that lid space area. And I'm just working on blending that in some more. And I believe I just decided, you know what? need I need some more so I put a little bit on the brush and I just brought that all the way up to my crease and now I'm blending that out with a clean blending brush and I definitely like the way that looked more and I got a matte black and I just kind of you know threw that in the outer V area and I am now going to blend that out with a clean blending brush and this was just truly for more depth because i knew that i wanted to do a cut crease and i've just loved the looks of the cut creases with the super deep outer v area now i am taking the mika primer on a flat brush and i am just you know starting from the highest point getting that line secured and then I'm gonna work from the inner corner around and then the outer corner I'm going to just kind of slice up but yes you guys so with this I felt like you know this this I could have stopped right here with the angle and you know now looking at it I'm I mean that's that's a look all by itself but I wanted to make it I guess a little bit more than what it was so I'm taking it all the way down and a little bit into the darker area as well so I'm just cleaning those edges up a little bit and making sure that it is as seamless as possible and you guys my eyes are like two different shapes so this is like actually a real life challenge and now I'm taking this white um, color and I am putting that right on the edge of the line and I am just trying to pat that in because 
Um, I ran out of my mixing medium and right now I'm going back in and I'm just cleaning that up with concealer. But, um, you know, I, I didn't have a white liner pencil and I ran out of mixing medium, so, but I wanted a white line. So this is what I decided to do. So you guys, don't be discouraged if you don't have every makeup thing there ever was because, you know, you can make up your own stuff. And now I'm taking ginger on a lid brush and I am just packing that on. And I'm putting it just at the edge of that white line. And I'm also making sure not to take it all the way into that inner corner area either. And once again, like I said, I feel like this primer was like trying to play me because like and keep in mind like this is my favorite primer I don't know but whatever the case may be I'm I'm taking Zam on the inner tear duct area or inner area and I blended that in and now I am going in with credit again and I'm just smoking out that V bringing it in and bringing it into like an angle you guys and now I'm blending that out with a clean blending brush and just you know smoking that out even more and I'm just cleaning up that white a little bit you guys and flaring it out a little bit because I started looking at it and I was like you know what that would be cute and now I'm going into trust issues and I'm just gonna put that right in the inner tear duct area you guys I'm thinking that this is probably my favorite color in this entire palette I mean there's I have a, actually a few favorites and I think as you see me do more looks you'll be able to tell what they are but trust issues definitely one of my favorites and you guys so I'm taking edges right under my eye and you notice I clean up the powder right and now I'm taking credit as well and I'm just smoking that out you know doing the regular little smoky smoke nothing too um, dramatic because you know if if I would have took like maybe a black it would have been definitely more black or more smoked out and I'm taking a gold eyeliner pencil and I'm going in there I thought that complemented it a lot better or it made it a lot softer look than it would have been to do the white or the black now I'm taking a clean blending brush and I'm just blending that out to make it more soft and yeah and I'm doing a liner um, on this I decided about right here that I was not winging this liner out so it just you know I'm just wanted a nice little black line and now I'm going back in and retouching up trust issues because you know like when you don't do things in the proper order it can get messed up throw those lashes on get these lips right now I use the chocolate liquid lip um, pencil or not lip pencil but lipstick that I've used like in almost every video and now I'm just lining it out with a dark brown to make it even more brown and more chocolatey and more of a deeper nude color I thought that would complement this eye very much and I love it and I got my drugstore gloss and threw it in the center and there you guys go I hope you guys enjoyed this look I enjoyed doing it All right, you guys, so that's the look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon.